Okay, guys, we're going to talk about how to record or to, how to upload um, third-party websites right into your Blackboard. So I'm going to choose the course I'm looking to connect. And you do have to initially connect it through your course tools through McGraw-Hill Education and then to connect um, a section for your students. Um, if you need help with that, I can do a separate video. I think most of you are all set with that. You do need to create a content folder, so I just create a homework folder. In order to do that, I just click Build Content, Content Folder. Just name it something like Homework, right? Click Submit and it will be there. I'm going to click Cancel since I already have one, but this folder will then pop up so that when the students click into it, any homeworks you load will be automatically loaded in here. And you can see I've got Homeworks 1 through 3 already, and I'm going to create a Homework 4 um, so you can see how that works. All right, in order to do that, I'm going to switch over to the McGraw-Hill website. So let's switch over there for a second. All right, so here I am in my section. So I have a lot of course sections. I've been using this program for a while. But once you click into it, I've named it so it's something easy to see. So I've got my Fall 2019 AMP1. When you click in, you will see all the assignments. I'm going to add homework for, so you need to click on Add an Assignment. Now, if you want to create your own assignments, look at your own questions, transfer between um, instructors, I'm going to click on Question Bank, which will pull up this. Automatically, what it does is pull up the um, test banks by chapter. So if you're doing tissues, you would click that. There's various questions you can select. All right, if you want to look into each individual question, you certainly can by clicking over the question. If you want to add the question, choose the Add This Question, Add as an individual question, and it will add it to your homework assignment. You can then scroll between the questions you want. If you like this other version, there is a list option up at the top. All right, I have an assignment, so I'm going to select it. But if you come down here and select Assignments I Have Created, you will see all your past um, assignments that you've created or any shared assignments. So I'm going to go into my homework for from last semester, which I'm happy with, and select it. Now again, if you want to go through the questions, you would select the questions and choose them individually, but I know that I like these questions, so I'm going to select all, add as individual questions. Okay, and now at the top you can see there's 25 questions. It is worth 100 points. If it does not come out to 100 points, I go to Organize Assignment, Set All Points Value, and make the entire assignment worth 100 points, and then it automatically redistributes all of the points amongst the questions. If you want to certainly adjust them one by one, you can certainly do that as well. And then don't forget to name your assignment. This one happens to be homework four. Okay, at the top. All right, once you are happy with your points, your number of questions, the questions you've submitted, um, you can do one of two things. You can either save and exit, which means it doesn't show to the students, and you can still continue to work on it. But I'm happy with this assignment, so I'm going to click Continue and connect it to Blackboard. All right, so you can either have it open immediately to the students once you finish this last screen, or you can post date it by clicking on this and setting the date and time that it will show up to your students. I'll let it just open right away. The due date for them will be next Thursday. It automatically defaults to 11.59. You can certainly click on this and change the default. I don't accept late submissions, so I'm going to have them automatically submitted as is on the due date. All right, next, um, you can look at the different types of settings you want. You can expand your settings. So do you want any time limits? You could edit this, the number of attempts, the types of feedback seen. Certainly you can make all those choices, but I'm happy with my presets. All right, so I'm going to, now that I'm all set, hit review and assign. All right, the only section I have of this is the current fall section, but if you have multiples, you can certainly assign it to all of them at one time. All right, you can see down here that there is a deploy to Blackboard. All right, this is labeled to on, so as soon as I hit assign, it will open up a Blackboard window. And it'll ask you where you want that destination folder to go, so hit browse. And I've created that homework folder, and I want the homeworks to show up in there, so I'm gonna select that. If you scroll down a little bit, I only use the highest grade, and I allow them as many attempts as you want, but you can certainly average the last attempt, however you want to set that grade. Okay, it's up to you. The biggest thing here is to really make sure you're choosing the correct category. 
because this is a homework and the way it's calculated into the final grade is as a homework, if you leave it as the default assignment, it will not be calculated into your final grade. So you need to physically go in and select, right, in this case it's a homework, so I'm going to select homework, but if it's a different category, select the proper category, click submit. All right, it now shows up in the content folder, right? So we're back in the class, homework folder. You will now see homework four with the due date will show to the students. In addition, if you were to go into the grade book, it would have created a new grade column for homework four, and it will auto update when students take the assignment. You don't have to transfer grades. It will auto update, okay, their highest grade after each new attempt, okay, right into the grade column and in the grade book, so that from this point on, it is very simple for you. Hopefully this was helpful. Email me with any questions.